Hello everyone, today we are going to understand what network security groups are on Azure. And we are going to do that with an example. As you can see in the screen, we are going to create this setup on Azure. We are going to create this virtual network and inside of that virtual network, we are going to create two subnets and each subnet contains one virtual machine. We need to block access to virtual machine 2 on this virtual network. And for that, we can use network security groups. As you can see, you can place these network security groups either on virtual machine level or it could be your subnet level. Based on your need, you can decide it. And they act as miniature firewalls. Basically, you can define security rules and these rules contain five tuple information, the source, source port, destination, destination port and the protocol. And as I said before, they can be assigned to the network interface of the VM or subnet. And these network security definitions that you write, you can reuse them. But one thing that you should keep in mind is that even though you can reuse network security groups, you cannot assign multiple security groups to one interface card. And when you define these security rules for a network security group, you're providing a priority as well. The lower the number, the higher the priority is. Now that we understand what network security groups are, let's go into the demo. All right, I have written this script to create the resources I have shown you earlier. First, I'm going to create this resource group on Azure and after that, this virtual network, two subnets in this virtual network. And after that, I'm going to create a VM in each of these subnets. And finally, I'm going to install this web server on VM to test the behavior of my virtual network. So now let me copy these commands and execute it on my Azure PowerShell. As you can see, the resources are created. Let me go to my Azure portal and to NST test RG that we have just created. Now let me zoom out a little bit so that you can see all the resources and apply this group by type. And here you can see there's one virtual network and two virtual machines and two public IPs and two NSGs already created and two um, interface cards and two disks. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to one of these VMs, actually both of them. Let me open up my PowerShell window here and uh, let me switch into the both of these VMs. As you can see, I have connected to both of those VMs. Now let me install a sample web server on my second VM. And finally, I'm going to put this message in the index.html in that VM. That's done. Now let me get the IP address of this virtual machine. And that is this thing here. I'm going to copy it and let me curl it from virtual machine one. As you can see, I'm getting the message from this server. Now it's time for me to create the network security group. Let me create um, it here and let me search for network security group. And I'm going to name it, um, let's see, uh, block HTTP. And that is what I'm planning to do with this network security group and region is going to be southeast asia and i'm not going to add any tags here and then i'm going to click create the deployment is complete now let me go to the resource you can see there are four things that i'll be discussing today and the first one is inbound security rules so basically just like in firewalls this is where you configure your rules as you can see, we have the name of the rule, the ports and the protocol and source destination and whether we are allowing or denying it. As you can see, the same configuration is here for outbound security rules as well. And if you go to network interfaces, we can connect, we can associate your network interfaces with these network security groups here. And it could be your network interfaces or it could be your subnets as well. My plan today is to block HTTP traffic to this subnet here. So let me go to inbound security rules here and click add. And the uh, the source could be anything and port ranges. I'm not going to specify any here. And the destination is 
also I'm going to keep as any and uh, the destination port ranges I'm going to insert 80 here and also the action I'm going to deny it I'm not going to let any HTTP traffic on port 80 to that subnet and, and then I'm going to name this port 80 and I'm going to keep priority as the, the one that is uh, that is default here that is 100 so let me click add the security rule is creating now let me go to subnet section now what I'm going to do is I'm going to associate this network security group with my second subnet and for that I'm going to click associate here and I'm going to select this virtual network and my second subnet and I'm going to click OK With this association and this inbound security rule that I have applied for denying HTTP traffic, I should not be able to get the HTTP response from my second VM now. And you should wait for this configuration to apply for like one minute and then you can try to invoke it. As you can see, I'm not getting anything from this web server. So now let me go and let me uh, cancel this request and let me go back to my Azure portal. Now what I have done here is that I have applied this network security group to my second subnet. Also depending on the requirement I can just apply this network security group to the network interface itself. So for that let me disassociate this assignment and then I'm going into network interfaces and I'm going to click associate. As you can see, I cannot select any of those network interfaces. They're both disabled. And that is because we have already assigned a network interface group for these network interfaces. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go into my resource group here, and then group by type. Now I'm going to delete this network security group that is assigned to my network interface too, as you can see. For that I have to remove this association like this and after that I'm going into overview and click refresh once more and delete this network security group. Now I'm going back into block HTTP network security group and network interfaces. As you can see here if I go into network interface associations my second interface is available for me to associate. I want to click on it and before clicking OK let me go back to my virtual machines and try to curl it as you can see since we have disassociated the NSG from the subnet I can access the web server now again and now I'm going to click OK let me go back to the PM and clear this and let me run this command again as you can see I cannot access the web server and that is because we have assigned the network security group to the interface card of my second VM that hosts the web server. Now let me go back and remove this association. As you can see, I'm getting the response again from VM2. Hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you want to be updated with my future videos, you can subscribe to my channel as well. And thanks for watching.